Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a Monster High doll review. This one is going to be on the Ghoul's Night Out Laguna Blue. She's the daughter of the sea monster. So this collection is one, or this particular one, is one of the singles in the deluxe set. In the box, you can see she comes with quite a few accessories. She's a perfume bottle, her phone, her uh, coffin phone, um, a makeup palette, her purse. You can see a brush and a book as well. Her box has detailing around the collection. She's also got some zipper detailing and a picture of her in the outfit. So her name is on top of the box as well. There's the side of the box with the logo or zipper. Here is the back of all of these singles you can do or you can get. And here it says after, um, she's got a little blurb here, after a week of killer final exams, these ghouls are ready to blow off some scream. They've put together a plan that will maximize every minute of their weekend. They'll be dressed to thrill in their freakishly fabulous best, completely ready to paint the town dead. As long as they can make it back home in time for curfew. So the singles you can get is Laguna Blue, Spectre Vondergeist, and um, it's also in the three pack. I know that much that you is a is it a three pack or a four pack. I have it as well, but I'll be reviewing that one later. She comes in the um, Walmart exclusive set for this collection as well, um, which is why I don't ha didn't get her in the single because she comes with all of her accessories in the uh, Walmart exclusive. So here is the other side. It has some detailing, some stars, the Monster High logo, and the picture on the front wraps around. So I'm going to go ahead and get Laguna out of the box, and we will take a closer look at her. All right, so here she is out of the box. As you can see, there is a lot of great detailing to the outfit. I'm going to start with the top at her hairstyle. She has kind of a twisted up style. It looks like they try to make her hair curly, um, but it's pretty heavy gelled, um, to be honest with you. She also has these two little curls at the side of her head. Her earrings are in the shape of sharks on both sides, which I think is really cool. Her makeup is a pink and glitter style with a fuchsia colored lipstick. She has great detailing with her freckles and she even comes with a necklace. She has a tie piece um, belair is what those particular jackets are called and a it is in fact sewn into the dress that she's wearing. She has a pink leather belt sporting a silver shark on it and a couple of pouches on either side. She wears armbands on each of her wrists and has great detailing on her hands with webbing. She has fins as well on each side of her arm and has fins at the bottom of her leg, which can be removed. Um, and honestly, I see these being an issue of being lost really easily because of specifically the way I store my Monster High dolls. Onto her boots. They are teal and hot pink. Her hips feel loose. Yeah, her hips are a little loose, to be honest with you. Focus. There we go. Her hips are a little loose, as you can see. They do. Her legs do swing pretty freely. Um, but anyways, her shoes have a shark bite in the heel, 
little clams as the clamps on the zippers and a seaweed detailing in the shoe itself. Her, the pattern on her dress is actually little sharks with uh, teal metallic and hot pink and studding on the sleeve as well as a little collar piece. Um, she does have something that is fairly new in my personal dealing with Monster High. I'm not showing you anything, but she has printed panties onto her body form. So that's nice that they're now including some modesty in these dolls. Um, has a little simple ruffling detail at the end of her dress. Now let's get on to Laguna's accessories. Laguna comes with uh, two beauty items. We have a little perfume with a clam and shark detailing, a little puff ball, and it's sitting on waves. Wave detailing of the shark. She also has a shark's head compact. And you can see the eye detailing there and little fins. It does clip closed right here. But to be honest with you, I find it to be a bit of a pain to try and open. And it does have two colors, the teal and pink, which are common to Laguna's outfit. She does also have an eye coffin with different apps. A little hairbrush that allows you to brush her hair, but with this curly look and how much product it actually seems to be in the doll, seems to be a bit of a pain and actually just makes a mess of her hair. Makes it frizzy, really. Her purse is great detailing. It has a fish on the front with three little bubbles, a little clamshell clasp, a buckle on the strap and seaweed detailing on the actual bag. It does in fact open and you can store small items in the purse like her compact perfume and even the eye coffin in there. Like so. Now that this ghoul is ready to hit the town. She also comes with a book, Ghoul's Night Out, with her name on it, which has photos, which is more of like a scrapbook than an actual. story. So, and that's the back. So, I really think Laguna's got some great pieces to her and I would definitely love to rock her outfit in real life. Until next time, guys. Bye.